Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I'm here with our third and final video of the afternoon to have another personal break here of 2021 top Star Wars Chrome Galaxy, this time for Benjamin K from California. So thank you so much, Benjamin, for letting me open up this box for you here on the channel. And I hope to find you some awesome Star Wars cards to add to your collection. Now, of course, if you guys haven't checked out this product before, you are guaranteed an autograph per box. But you can also get sketch cards, and those do count as bonus hits. Sketches seem to fall about 2 to 3 per 12 box case. So, I feel like we haven't seen a sketch in a little bit. Actually, we haven't seen one since this past weekend's live stream. But we did actually see a lot of sketches this past weekend. So I'm a little lost on what we should be expecting here. Uh, once we get into this upcoming weekend, we are starting with a new fresh case, so then we can keep track there. But I've lost track, to be honest, of what we've found in this past case. But I'm excited nonetheless, so let's see what we can find here for Benjamin. We can do that by snapping us into the corner. And let's go ahead and get started. Of course, this is a hobby-only product, as you guys can see by little, that little H logo right up there. So you cannot find this product at places like Target or Walmart. The last Star Wars release, Mandalorian Season 2, did have blaster boxes. Those do not exist for this product. So those Mando 2 blasters did exist. They were quite hard to find, but they were out there. Uh, they do not exist at all here in Chrome Galaxy. But 18 packs per box. Let's go ahead and get started here for Benjamin. Pack number one. Yes, this is our last video of the afternoon. Already had our monthly mail special, August edition. And another box actually earlier today of Chrome Galaxy for Joshua. Do actually have some more Chrome on the schedule for Friday. Uh, so we're seeing a lot of Chrome boxes here on the channel coming up in the near future. I love opening up this product. The cards are absolutely gorgeous. So not complaining at all, just giving you guys a little heads up. Do we have an ATST refractor here? And a vintage Death Star 2 insert. This is vintage number 10. We're seeing usually between two and three numbered refractors per box. Some boxes have up, we've seen up to up to six, I think. Uh, most of the time you just see in like those hot boxes, you're seeing five and then a numbered refractor auto. So it kind of counts, kind of doesn't. I mean, yeah, it's a numbered refractor, but not necessarily what I'm referring to. Do the T16 Skyhopper refractor and actually a global poster green refractor insert. So this is numbered to 99 here, 29 of 99, an Italian New Hope poster. That's global poster number 18. Go ahead and get that sleeved on up. Our first numbered refractor of the box. Starting off with an insert green refractor. Curious to see what else we'll find here. Do you have surveying by the surveyed by the Dark Lord rather? Card number 59 refractor. Oh, interesting. This this pack's orientation is all kinds of which ways. Do you have a Thailand poster, I believe? That is, yep, global poster number 11, Thailand, A New Hope. And we do have our autograph of the box. It is Blair Bass, is Jedi Master Evan Peel. The base auto, and then we do have a prism refractor here, another surveyed by the Dark Lord. This time, number 11 of 75, art by Doug Cohen. So let's go ahead and get that refractor, of course, prism. In Panini terms, they'd be hyper. And that is for tops, a prism refractor, and of course, our autograph. So it was a base auto here, like I said, Jedi Master Evan Peel from the Clone Wars, as voiced by Blair Bess. Did mention it a little bit in Joshua's box, but I actually really do love the base design for the autographs. Love the colorations in the background. There's actually even like some red up here. Love like the watercolor splotches and things like that in the background. So very, very well executed design-wise. But let's continue here and see what else we can find. Two numbered refractors and already our guaranteed hit of the box. Let's see what else we can discover. We are Bearing Gifts, Refractor by Nathan Hamill. We do have a Mojo Django here. Mojo Django. That's number 13 of 50 here. Looking like some, some bismuth on the card. I really actually like the Mojos. In cards in which you can really see the design, some of the mojos don't translate, I feel, 100% well uh, with the base designs. But that one looks really good. Love how you can see Django in the forefront and then the mojo in the background. So three numbered refractors here so far. Do you have a regrets refractor? Darth Vader reflecting on his life. We have Empire and Rebellion base refractor. Same artist there as the Regrets card. A 
We have Princess Leia Refractor here. Another Jerry Vanderstelt Refractor. Past three Refractors have all been by Jerry Vanderstelt, art-wise. Max Rebo Bands, Base Refractor. Cute. He looks very cuddly. Not so much the other members of the band, but Max Rebo himself looks like good at giving hugs. The animated style Ewoks here. Log Race Hunt. And Mandalorian Visions insert number seven. We do have an Atomic coming up as well. Poe Dameron here, Atomic Refractor. That is number seven of 150, art by Paul Andrews. So seven refractors so far in this box that have been numbered. Three base and one insert. So even though our autograph is a base auto, we are finding a lot of color, so to speak, here in the box. Base refractor, a sad farewell. Job of the Hot Refractor and another vintage insert. That is number eight. Gotta have a V8. All right, down to the last row of the box here. Three packs remain. Do you have this Galaxy's Edge Refractor and our second Visions insert of the box. Should, in theory, be finding two of each. We've seen some cases only have one of the three inserts. We've seen some cases missing the Mandalorian Visions insert. Uh, so collation is definitely a bit weird in this product, but in theory, your regular box should have two posters, two vintage, and two visions. We do have Fall of a Jedi Refractor. And last pack here should be finding another poster. And that's, of course, not including the insert refractors. We do have United Behind General Grievous Refractor, one of my favorite cards of the set. And we do have a French Empire Strikes Back here for our second global poster of the box. All right, so that finishes things on up here for Benjamin. This is a four numbered refractor box. So definitely above average here, three base and that insert green, which was our first pull of the box. So let's start off our recap with that going back to the beginning. Didn't have that Gary Stellari Italian New Hope poster, 29 of 99 green refractor insert. Then from, we'll go from highest to lowest numbered. Didn't have that Commander Poe Dameron Atomic Refractor. Card number 95, 7 of 150 there. Art by Paul Andrews. And we did have that Prism surveyed by the Dark Lord. That is card number 59, 11 of 75 here on the Dark Lord surveying. And then that Mojo Django Fats, which I think if I had to pick my favorites out of all of our pulls from this box, I'd say this Mojo is my favorite. It's most visually appealing in my opinion. Django Fett, 13 of 50, art by Steve Chorney, card number 41. Of course, did have our guaranteed autograph of the box. No sketch, just an auto. Evan Peel here, voiced by Blair Bess. And then, as we expected, two global posters, two vintage, and two Mandalorian visions. So, a very fruitful box here. Like I was saying earlier, average is usually two to three on numbered refractors per box. This time, we did find four, so beating the odds, three of the regular numbered refractors, and then that insert seemed to be a little bonus for us there. But with that, this does wrap off this box here for Benjamin. Thank you so much, Benjamin, for letting me open up some Star Wars for you here on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the opening and love all of these new additions to your collection. Galaxy has been so much fun. Even the base. Base is absolutely stellar, so I hope you enjoy it just as much as I do. All of you out there watching, I know this is Benjamin's video, but of course, really hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, don't forget to go ahead and hit that like button. Comments for me. Let me know actually which was your favorite numbered refractor that we found here. Do you agree with me? Do you think the Django looks the coolest out of the bunch? Or do you have a different preference? Let me know in the comment section down below. And of course, if you're not yet part of the Titan Cards family, we'd love to have you with us. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, before I get on out of here, even though this is the last video of the day, I do have a lot to get on into. I do, of course, have to give a big shout out to all of our channel members. Thank you so much, you all, for going above and beyond with your support of the channel. Bossman and I truly do appreciate it. We do have 12 Black Label fans. And in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales. Uh, also, um, oh, actually, I defaulted to the old list. My apologies. 
and in Bounty Hunter Breaks, Chris Rivers, Devon, Epicenter Gaming, Fails Tales, Kira Soldari, Mark Mardini, MT, Sean F., Stephen Olivo, and Stephen Bly. One of these days, I will get back to having that groove down for the Black Label fans. Every time I feel like I've got it down on lock, I stumble. Hey, it happens. It happens. Happens. Happens to everybody, I suppose. And then we also do have 11 Gem Mint fans. Alberto M, Chicago Infinity, Dragonfire, Dusty Archuleta, Jared Geek, Jake Rhino C, Joe Howe, Michael C, Michael Bigelow, Scorecard Collectibles, and Sinvicta. But thank you so much again to all of our channel members, and all members do have their names shown on screen at the end of every video. But as I said, that does it for me here this afternoon. We'll be having another special... Um, premiering video tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow afternoon slash evening, regarding Flesh and Blood, our one-week countdown to our exclusive preview card for Tales of Aria. So if you're not familiar with Flesh and Blood, come on down by. That's exactly what it's going to be about, telling you guys a little bit more about the story behind Flesh and Blood, the products that are out, and a little bit about the game itself. So that should be very fun. We also have a personal break of two Flesh and Blood boxes as well. I'll stick in that video. So that's exciting. Do have to get to that this afternoon as well, so that way it's ready for tomorrow. But yes, that does it for me here. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Take care, stay safe, and hope to catch you in the next one. Bye!